Right now, a handful of microbial workhorses do the bulk of the work in biomanufacturing. But for the next generation of bioproducts, do we need a new generation of microbial hosts? Today, the bioeconomy runs on a handful of microorganisms. The bioeconomy of the future will run on hundreds of microorganisms. And this will unlock the uh, use of uh, cheap, abundant feedstocks. It will improve process design and make available uh, biomanufacturing facilities that are unlike anything that we have built today. And it will open up the funnel of available products uh, to the space. And we are at the center of that, uh, bringing in the microbes that will let us do it. What is the microbe that enables us to shift away from glucose to a, another industrial uh, waste stream or side stream, a, uh, uh, you know, even uh, captured carbon dioxide or recycled carbon dioxide? We need a new microbial host, really, that is designed to manufacture, to, to like use this as a base uh, for carbon conversion and recycling. We think about different, uh, changing the economics of the, of the process, uh, whether that is uh, through use of extreme microorganisms that can operate at different pressures or temperatures or pHs. Uh, we think about uh, uh, need for sterility as a challenge. And, uh, and so then, if we imagine moving away from that traditional like beer uh, fermentation tank, uh, that was designed for one microorganism. And so really changing the process, we also like, begin, need to start like, uh, that design with the microorganism in mind. And then the third piece, the, the product landscape, uh, that's also a place where the naturally varied metabolisms of microorganisms are widely underutilized. And so the, uh, the opening up of that product landscape will also involve, again, coming back to the microorganism. There are large strain collections out there, and sure. it's pretty easy to identify by 16S sure. uh, you know, what, what, what you're looking at. Um, mm -hmm. And the, the, the real trick is moving from a, a collection of uh, disparate microorganisms yes. into a stable of things that are uh, uh, well-trained, yes. ready to scale. Yes. Uh, and, and so it, it's really that like screening and domestication right. uh, funnel that's the challenge. Yes. Yeah. How do you domesticate these microbes? You have a, a wild organism that you isolated from some uh, environmental sample, say some s saltwater marsh, mm -hmm. and uh, you take that microorganism, you, you, you can culture it in the lab, and then you need to figure out how to uh, put new DNA in mm -hmm. and uh, make one modification to the genome. So that's zero to one, and, yes. and that's, that's hard. Mm -hmm. and, and that takes just a lot of very uh, trained skills in microbiology. Mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, uh, we, we harness a, a large library of component parts mm -hmm. uh, to make that as high throughput and um, standardized as possible. Uh, and then the second piece from, I call it one to a billion, yes. phase two. Yeah. <laughs> so, so once you can make one, one edit, how can you then go from a very low throughput technique, which mm -hmm. we traditionally where a lot of microbiology labs would stop, to uh, being able to make billions of edits mm -hmm. uh, across a population of cells. And that's, that's where we uh, at Wild Microbes have a unique perspective mm -hmm. and have a uh, 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 technological piece that, that uh, um, I brought out of working as postdoc in the church lab at Harvard, where mm -hmm. we have a, an approach that relies on a set of very high throughput tools derived mm -hmm. from bacteriophages. Mm -hmm. And uh, they allow us to make uh, uh, yeah, billions of changes across a, a population of cells. Mm -hmm. And so uh, there's a very specific methodology that we use to develop those, but, but that's really the goal is to get to library scale engineering in, uh, in wild hosts. And is that what is, you describe as recombinating? Recombinating works more like uh, a photocopier. Mm -hmm. uh, so as bacteria are uh, rapidly copying their genomes, mm -hmm. recombinating allows us to slip edits in uh, mm -hmm. to the new copy that's being synthesized. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a very well tolerated mm -hmm. uh, mechanism. So what is your business model? We're most definitely not an ingredients company. Yes. Yeah, we are a uh, 
platform, position yes. ourselves as a platform technology company. Uh -huh. And we would like to help enable as many companies as possible to make that transition into yes. the bioeconomy. And mm -hmm. I think the, the opportunity we see is that mm -hmm. there have been many attempts that have, that have failed yes. or been slowed down mm -hmm. or mired in uh, very long uh, five, ten year periods of investment that mm -hmm. haven't panned out in the end. And our goal is to is to decrease the failure rate of, mm -hmm. of the transition mm -hmm. and to uh, in, uh, make make the successes better, uh, mm -hmm. to make the economics uh, be better. And we think that uh, optimal host selection uh, yes. at the beginning of some of these projects uh, will make the endpoint much more successful. Right now, we're starting from four fixed points, mm -hmm. which or a handful of fixed points, which yes. are industrial microorganisms, yes. yeah. and we want to change that so that we're starting from thousands of points. Yes. And so we'll have a point and we'll, we'll scan through those thousands of points to find mm -hmm. uh, the point that is closest to the highest possible peak yes. on the landscape uh, mm -hmm. that we can easily access. Mm -hmm. And uh, with that, th that means that we're going to, on average, mm -hmm. do, or probably every time, do much, much less engineering of, mm -hmm. the, of the microorganism. Mm -hmm. uh, and therefore, the microorganism will be in uh, much closer to its native state, mm -hmm. be happier. It will uh, experience less uh, evolutionary tug yes. away from its engineered state, yes. and uh, um, and we'll just be, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll achieve shorter en engineering trajectories. It, it'll be cheaper, and we'll achieve uh, you know better economics and better uh, better better uh, mm -hmm. resulting processes. The nice thing about moving into uh, a wild, newly isolated host microorganism is that that patent landscape, that IP landscape, is is, is open, uh, and in in many cases, uh, we'll be able to have broad rights and, bro and broad room to explore uh, the, for the production of a whole variety of different uh, biomolecules and the optimization of different pathways uh, that that might be tied up in other organisms. So far, we have one early partnership uh, with a multinational company in the food and ingredient space and uh, another in contracting and another in uh, uh, late design phase. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're onboarding partners right now at the moment and uh, kind of late discussions with many more after that. We uh, uh, concluded a pre seed raise last year. We have taken some revenue uh, and we are raising this year a seed round.